Welcome to INN CEO Talks. In this episode, we're talking about a revolution in biofarming, a revolution that will increase yield, provide unparalleled consistency, and shorten time to market. Elan Sobel is the CEO of BioHarvest, and he took on that position after decades of top-level experience in the beverage industry, including an 18-year stint with Coca-Cola. Elan, welcome. It's good to see you again. Thanks, Stu. Always good to be here. And when you say decades, it makes me feel pretty old. I'm, I just hit 48, so I've still got a lot left in me. <laughs> well, yes, and that's the energy that we want you to be bringing to your current position and to BioHarvest. You know, uh, what is it about BioHarvest right now that you feel is going to turn the health and wellness and nutraceutical industry upside down? Thanks, Stu. Well, you know, at, at our core, we are a biotech company and uh, we are the global leaders in plant cell biology. And what we've developed over the last uh, 12 years and with uh, close to $15 million in investment in R&D is a unique platform technology which allows us to be able to take any essential medicinal active ingredient from a plant or a fruit. So any primary metabolite, like a protein or a secondary metabolite, like a polyphenol, an antioxidant or a cannabinoid. And we're able to take these critical active ingredients in their full spectrum nature. So not just one ingredient, to multiple critical active ingredients that all need to work together. And we grow these active ingredients in cells, and then we're able to grow them in liquid media, in bioreactors, which allows us to have an end product over a four week period that has best in class solubility, which is so important because active ingredients need to be able to be dissolved in your intestinal tract to work in your body. Amazing bioavailability. So very quickly enters into the blood plasma and starts to work with your cells. And as a result, very high efficacy. We're a science-based company. We've completed multiple clinical trials, all double-blind, placebo, and published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. And it's with this platform technology that we've been able to really validate our ability to drive significant improvement in consumers' overall health and wellness. Today, Stu, we're operating in the polyphenol antioxidant world with a unique product that we brought to market called Vinia. Um, in fact, we, you know, as a public company, we shared our final 2021 numbers where we were able to demonstrate in a little market like Israel, one, literally 9 million people just in di literally direct e-commerce business with our Vinia product we were able to actually deliver 1.75 million US dollars of direct sales to consumers. And so when you start to scale this in markets like the US, you can start to really extrap extrapolate and understand the numbers. And what's super unique about our platform technology is that we drive consistency, we drive a level of purity, which, which is unique, we have the ability to deliver sustainability credentials that are best in class in the industry. And as also, we have been able to scale the platform to ensure that we're able to literally generate significant quantities of our product with limited capex and very, very low cost of goods versus the industry. And we've done that not just in nutraceuticals with Vinia, but we're doing this right now in the cannabis space where we're bringing a grade of cannabis to the marketplace that the market hasn't seen before from an overall fingerprint consistency perspective and overall purity because we grow our trichomes in unique bioreactor conditions. So in an aseptic conditions, and again, we're able to grow full spectrum, non-GMO cannabis without actually growing the plant or from the cell, which is the uniqueness of the platform technology. So this is really, with this kind of platform technology, we can play in so many different areas, not just nutraceuticals, not just the cannabinoid space, 
but in many other areas where we're able to bring the power of the plant to the people. So one of the things, of course, that you need to do is to bring uh, both of your uh, streams of production out into the marketplace. Vinia, you say you've got in Israel. Uh, when will we see that expand into Europe and North America? And what do you need to do to, to realize that kind of growth? Uh, and when you answer that, after answering that question, also tell me what are the, the, the challenges that you face in being able to get to market with your cannabis products as well? So, so firstly, let's talk on, on you know, the numbers that we've committed uh, to the market. You know, from a small cap perspective, you know, there's very few small cap companies that are actually providing guidance from a revenue perspective. Last year, we provided guidance. And in fact, we overachieved and increased the guidance two times during the year. And in the end, overachieved on the, the, the final number. Uh, this year, a few weeks ago, we provided um, guidance for our shareholder partners that we would deliver revenue between five and seven million U.S. dollars. And to do that, we need to make sure we continue to grow at uh, low um, single digit uh, growth in our Israeli marketplace. And I think this is you know, definitely something that we will be able to deliver and hopefully more. We need to be scaling our U.S. business. We actually launched Vinia in the U.S. last year in May, and we had a phenomenal first six-month pilot with best-in-class e-commerce metrics from an overall conversion rate, uh, from an overall subscription perspective. For example, 83% of our customer base are subscription. So, Stu, that's recurring revenue for the company. And of those 83%, literally 70% are actually sus subscribing on subscriptions of three months, repeatable subscriptions of three months or six months or 12 months. Um, we have been able to achieve amazing results from an overall consumer feedback perspective. If people go to our vinia.com website, and I encourage you to do that, vinia.com, look at the reviews page and you'll see a ratings of 4.8 out of five. There are very few companies that have a review rating, verified reviews of 4.8 out of five. And importantly, take the time to read through the reviews and you'll see how we are fundamentally changing people's lives as a result of the impact that the increased blood flow that Vinia generates from an, from an end user perspective is having on the, over, their overall bodies. So as it relates to improving physical energy and mental alertness because of the increased blood flow and the additional oxygen and nutrients that are flowing to the body tissue or organs or maintaining blood pressure already within normal range or reducing oxidation of LDL cholesterol, many of the benefits that Vinia provides. So what has held us back in the US and why we call it a pilot is that we've been, we've been hand to mouth with our production on Vinia. Um, and in this context, right now today, we have a two ton facility that's been feeding Israel and our pilot in the US. I'm very happy to say we're in the final stages of the technology transfer to our new 20 ton facility that we've built for our polyphenol antioxidant vertical. This means really in less than 12 months, we spoke about it Stu, 12 months ago when we just started to actually, we signed the agreement with the partner in this area. It took us 12 months, $4 million maximum, $4 million in a highly challenged, highly challenged supply chain environment because of COVID to have this facility up and running with the Israeli Ministry of Health GMP approvals as well as ISO certifications. And this $4 million in CapEx allows us to generate north of 40 million US dollars in revenue per year. There's very few technology platforms that allow you this kind of ratio from a CapEx investment to actual throughput of revenue. So literally, as we speak, we're in the final stages and we will be able to open the floodgates as far as manufacturing of Vinia for the U.S. And we are going to put the foot on the accelerator from a marketing perspective like never before to bring the magic of Vinia to the masses of the U.S. population. So they really can all enjoy the benefits because we've been very much constrained um, as a result of capacity. And then lastly from an overall cannabis perspective, <clears throat> we've announced consistently over the last six months 
uh, a set of, um, I would say, historical announcements where we've broken barriers, major barriers in biology and literally climbed Mount Everest in, and back as it relates to what we have achieved in the area of, of cannabis. Um, you know, Israel, as many people know, was literally the original genesis of the identification of cannabinoids and the whole understanding of the endocannabinoidal systems was actually discovered in Israel. And when we decided to use our platform technology for the production of cannabis, many of the giants of industry said, impossible, it's too difficult because cannabis is different. It's a very complex plant. And in fact, with cannabis, it's not just the cells of the plant that you need to take in order to grow the active ingredients. Many of the viewers may understand that what's so critical in cannabis is the trichomes and the trichomes are the mini factories that grows the cannabinoids, terpenes and flavonoids. And when you tell Stu, five female Israeli biologists that you can't do it, that you can't do something, you know, it's just a matter of time until they come back and they tell you <laughs> that they can do it. So lo and behold, fast forward roughly two and a half years of R&D, you know, we announced to the world about six months ago that we had been the first entity, not just company, not just education institution, the first entity in the world to be able to grow these unique trichomes in liquid media with fingerprint consistency, with a level of purity that has never been seen before in the cannabis industry, full spectrum, all the cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, non-GMO, with unique sustainability credentials because sustainability is such a ma major headwind hitting the industry, which we're able to, you know, we're able through our technology to really drive best in class credentials in this area. And then importantly, we can do it at a fraction of the cost of the industry. So we are now in the final, final stages of our commercialization process. We announced a couple of weeks ago, we're growing cannabis in industrial scale bioreactors. So we're producing significant amounts of cannabis. And we're now, once we bring on board our new 20 ton facility for Vinia, our two, which, our two ton facility will go through a few renovations and will be converted into a cannabis facility. And we will be able to unleash the power of a, of a very unique composition and grade of cannabis into the market to significantly help people that are relying on cannabis to deal with major palliative conditions that currently the pharma world with their singular isolates, synthetic compounds are not able to adequately address. And I'm, I'm so much looking forward to our ability to impact millions and tens of millions of these consumers in Israel and in North America initially. So Elan, uh, your uh, excitement and enthusiasm is infectious, of course, and we've gone long, but I still, I wanna ask you, you know, you're uh, literally on the cusp of becoming cash flow positive right now with Vinia. As you now move out, is that gonna give you the financial resources to be able to self-fund as you continue to grow on the cannab cannabis side of your business? Yeah, yeah we've, we've announced again to the market, again, you don't find many companies out there that you know, are putting their heads out there with their investor partners and making commitments. We've announced our ambition to be cash flow positive in 2023. And this really is, is driven by um, a couple of things. Firstly, a very unique mix based on a, having a direct to consumer business on Vinia, which has very high gross profit margins. Um, given the unique composition of our cannabis product and the pricing in the marketplace, we believe cannabis will bring, again, more favorability to the overall um, mix itself from a revenue and a gross profit perspective. And then obviously, as we start to scale these businesses, we will achieve significant efficiencies from a overall marketing perspective and a manufacturing cost perspective, driving significant leverage down to the bottom line and really producing best in class financials for the industry. Um, and with this, it will spin enough cash for us to really post 2023, to be able to utilize the cash from operations, to be able to fund the growth of the business um, in North America, outside North America, markets like Europe, other key markets in Asia like Japan, 
that we're very, very focused on executing in. So, as I say, we're over time, but what's the number one thing that you want potential investors to take away from this interview uh, before we wrap up? Look, Stu, at the end of the day, we are a purpose-driven company. And investors need to be putting their hard-earned money in companies that are purpose-driven, in companies that are going to make a fundamental positive change on the world, in companies that are going to leave the world in a better place from a sustainability perspective for our children and our grandchildren. And we are that company. We are that company based on what we wake up every day and how we think, how we operate. We are that company based on the uniqueness of our platform technology. There's no other platform technology out there that has the industrial scalability to do what we can do uh, from the plant itself and bring the power of the plant to the people. So ultimately, you know, when you, when you step back and you look at valuations, valuations for the company now, you know, are, are, are at a level where this, you know, we all believe there's significant upside as we really look to drive that ambition of being a multi-billion dollar biotech company, leveraging the power of our platform technology across multiple verticals where we will disrupt current industries by bringing unique products, therapeutic solutions to the marketplace with consistency, with purity, with sustainability credentials that are unique, and with economics that makes sense because ultimately it's all about balancing two things. One, we need to make sure every day we bring significant human utility value to the world. That's driving a transformational positive change in the health and wellness of our end users. And I always say, Stu, that if we do that, then the shareholder value will come. And that's the positive virtue cycle of a purpose-driven company. And that's who we are. Thank you very much. And, you know, Elan, I hope you're going to come back and give us another update because each time that I speak to you, you continue to move forward in that purpose-driven manner that you uh, refer, refer to. So thank you for your time today. Thanks for the opportunity, Stuart.